Hey everyone, tip number one, to stay healthy in this culture, take time to pray. Get a prayer chair, get a candle, um, schedule your day around some forms of prayer. I sit here in my chapel every morning. I start my day with a cup of coffee and in prayer here before the Blessed Sacrament in my home. And I make time to just offer up all of our intentions for the day. I also pray a midday hour, not a whole hour, uh, about a 10 minute session, and then an evening prayer time and a night prayer time. And um, sometimes I'm able to make daily mass by television. Um, other times I'm praying the rosary on a walk outside in nature. So make time to schedule your life in a form of prayer every day so that you have a schedule of which you're centering yourself in God to keep you very sane and holy and healthy. Hi everyone, tip number two, work. Uh, the Benedictines have a phrase they always say is ora et labora, work and prayer, structure to their day. Um, so we already talked about the tip number one, which is prayer. Um, to have the foundation of prayer for our day. And the second one is work, to keep a nine to five schedule or whatever you're used to in a normal day's work, um, to still get up, take showers, get dressed, put on makeup, do what you gotta do to keep a normal structure of your work life. Um, if you don't have work work to do on computers like I do in my new office here, um, <laughs> you may want to find cool household projects of work for your family to do, or you yourself, if you're by yourself. Um, take on some spring cleaning, yard work. Maybe you've had some projects of needing to paint some rooms that you haven't gotten to yet. For me, I had my parents over here this weekend to help me build structure to my pantry. This is my new pantry. Those shelves were not there. This weekend was the first um, they came to be. And now I have a pantry coming. Um, just encourage you to get creative out there and um, keep order and structure to your day and especially be creative like God is creative, creating new things, new path, path, paths of ministry to our work life, our ministry life, our family life. God bless. Hi everybody. Tip number three exercise. As I take a deep breath of fresh air, I encourage all of you to do the same. It's 57 degrees and spring is here. Praise the Lord. He's given us some sunshine. Um, there is something so glorious about standing outside in the grandeur of God, hearing the birds chirp, life begin. I'm seeing these beautiful little flowers spring up today, purple and white ones. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about the sounds of nature getting out of our minds for a minute <laughs> and just realizing God is so much bigger than us and he is still in control as a matter of fact of our lives of this situation he's doing something glorious in this moment even when we can't see it we don't feel it um, we just know that he's with us take some time to not take your cell phones on the walk and get outside, smile at people six, 10 feet away and uh, rejoice in God's creation. Um, it is a great time to just contemplate with the Lord, the glory of life and its gift. Peace. Hi everybody. Tip number four, cook good meals and healthy meals. Um, so I just made myself breakfast. I don't always make this great of a breakfast, but I had um, a whole bunch of fun vegetables to put in an egg omelet. And I made homemade biscuits last night to go with my bean and ham soup that I made. Um, it's really helpful psychologically and physically to keep healthy as best as we can with good sleep and good food, good meals around the table. Um, just like we always would or even more. I actually took on some new recipes that I decided to make during this um, time. I just really started to find creative, you know, curry turkey burgers and um, just a whole bunch of cool recipes to just be creative with God. God is a creative God and he wants us to keep being creative and take care of ourselves. And um, I don't think I've eaten this healthy in such a long time. 
um, just making good meals, sitting down with the family, um, sometimes with a friend over the phone, and um, just making sure we're psychologically and physically healthy as best as we can, having our vitamin C and little um, vitamins, um, just keep being healthy and um, yeah, use your time wisely, making good meals. All right, peace. Hi everybody, tip number five. This is community and talking with people. Don't be isolated. Here's my friend Karen. Hi everybody, I'm with my dear friend Dawn from Detroit, loving every second of it. She's my Cannes Creative Virgin friend. We are loving life. We spend some time online as well as with some of our family and friends to make sure we're not isolated. Make sure we're keeping connected to community. We're made for community, we're made for love. So connect with your people out there. Don't let anybody be left behind and uh, make sure we're all being sane by the love of one another.